Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, more Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. Where we left off last time, uh, we were... We had just found Merrill, found out that Merrill is actually a part of the uh, Rat Patrol team that we were trying to meet up with. And, um... And while we were... Well, while we were talking with her about uh, what, what she had found out about Liquid, um the frogs, as someone called them, uh, started attacking the building, or started invading the building, so closing in on our location. So we're gonna have to fight our way out. There we go. A lot more looting. <laughs> And I've just realized that I am not properly equipped. I probably don't want the iPod equipped right now. Um, probably best to equip a healing item just in case for now. Um, this starts you off almost pressed up against the wall. And the uh, thing is, like, there's nothing you can hit from here, so... It also starts you off with the SOCOM equips. Roughly 90% of the time when that happens, I swap it out for something else. Actually, roughly 100% of the time, because as I mentioned before, I don't really use... Or the operator, not the SOCOM. I don't really use the, the operator. Of course, you still have to kind of take cover, and I'm not really doing that. Um... The thing about the frogs is, they, uh, as you saw, they can kind of jump around a lot. And they can cling to walls and ceilings and stuff. So, they're kind of crazy to fight. And the M4 Custom, while very customizable, is, uh, is not very powerful. So, I think I'm going to switch that out for something just a little bit a little bit more stopping power, I guess? I don't know. Something... I don't know, just something else. Just I, I'm gonna try something else anyway. I think, uh, I think this one has less damage, but more penetration? I don't know if... Uh, I don't know what, how penetration actually uh, factors in in this, but... The, uh... Hmm, actually, can you customize? Yes, you can. You could add a suppressor. We don't actually have one. Um, laser sight, and a flashlight, which we don't have any of those that we can actually attach to this weapon, but, uh, did, did you miss me un unlocking anything? Um, not really. Um, more or less we're just kind of fighting our way through the, uh, the frogs here. Now, funny thing about fighting these frog, uh, fighting frogs, and uh, something that I I ha I am kind of not showing off is that these uh, these are considered to be the first boss fight of the game. I'm really trying to aim over this, but I forgot to get this part that um, But yeah, the. Uh, the thing about it is, no matter what, no matter how powerful your weapon is, having a higher fire rate is nice, because uh, because all you need is one headshot. So if you can just spray enough bullets at them that you get a headshot, that usually will bring them down pretty quick. That said, being able to kill them quickly with chest shots helps. Oh, there's some coming from over here, and I'm out of bullets. Well. As, as I've mentioned before, this, you know, this game has a shop system, and uh, so all all we need is we need to figure out what weapons are compatible with what ammo. There we go. It's right there. We can just buy clips of ammo just right here. They're kind of expensive to just buy, but the thing is, like, we don't even need to do that. We're using their weapons, so we can just pick up their ammo. 
can sell their weapons and gain DP. I guess doing so is a bit of a risk. have been flanked there, because I was just taking damage from all kinds of areas right there. <laughs> Alright, oh! Uh, let's see. Okay, don't want that grenade to get me, and it still got me. But I was pretty far away from it, so it, it blew me away, but it didn't really do much damage. Um... I was just kind of on the edge of its radius, I think. Why did that one glow? Well, when they die, as you can see, they kind of burn up to keep you from being able to learn anything from their corpses. They're... I, I don't... I don't know. It's something that's kind of like what happened with the, uh... Kind of like what happened with the, uh... What, what are they called? The, uh... The Cobras in... Oh, dang. Uh, the Cobras in Metal Gear Solid 3 did kind of a similar thing. They, uh... They had a microbomb in their heads that would explode when they died. Um... Okay, that was them. Okay, I th thought I saw more coming from behind. So if I were to have played this and just know where enemies were going to come from, I could probably plant some explosives, and I've seen that done. Um, you can just kind of plant a bunch of explosives around this area and anticipate where they're going to be, and you can just blow them up before they even get close to you. That's kind of a fun way to do it, but... It's also, uh, it, it's also not particularly easy, and I would be afraid of blowing up these guys. And if any of these guys die, I get a game over. Contact. And actually, uh, you know what would be useful here? Some explosives. So let's uh, change out the operator here for some explosives. Uh, I think I think in this area probably. Just grenades would be the best. So I think that's what I'm going to use. shot from. Oh. No. I'm getting kind of low in health. Uh, let's equip noodles. Oh, hey. I could equip a sniper, my sniper rifle, and I could get those guys up there a little bit easier, I guess. But this gun is doing just fine for me so far. How much like a typical game this seems to be? Yeah, this is kind of a cover-based shooter in a lot of ways in this section. Um, oh, I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, this this is considered to be the first boss fight of the game. 
and the game actually uh, rewards boss fights with figurines that are in the uh, that are in the nomad. So if I were to if I were to beat these guys without killing them, just knocking them all out, which is possible. It's very tough, but it's possible. Um, you can actually uh, you actually get a figurine of them. Um, and since we were fighting them so, from so far away, we're kind of out of bullets for this gun. Um, or starting to be. Hmm. But... Hmm. Uh-oh. guy's coming through the wall there. Well... You know what the best thing for this situation probably is? The drum can. Snake. Akiba's been knocked out. Okay, I'm trying to remember how to how to do this. There we go. There we go. I got him. Now I need to wake up Akiba. There we go. Did I give their guns? I think I did. Oh, hi. Oh, actually, this is a good time to show something off. Well, actually, I could just try this. Or or not. So, if you try to uh, if you try to seek you see these guys, they, it doesn't really work. Oh, wow. I didn't get to show it off because Okay, it worked there, because I had the drop on her. Y you can definitely see QC them from behind. But the uh, the thing is, if you try to see QC them from the front... Is this the one? No. Uh, if you try to see QC them from the front, it doesn't really work very well. Because they just kind of flip over you and then strangle you. But Meryl had my back there, so it didn't happen. Actually, you know what? I, I really want to try... I really want to do something to kind of show it off. I'm not going to say exactly what I'm doing here, but I want this to be on auto for reasons. I'm going to get this camo. If Actually, if you were to fall through there before the other, the other characters could and just stand here, they would land on you and knock you down. It's pretty funny. I, I kind of wish I'd thought to do that, but I, I didn't. Oh wow, I completely missed everyone with that. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they're so supportive of all of my, uh, my killing all these enemy soldiers here.
And, uh, right. so I think there's a little bit more to collect in this area, actually. I don't think there's any more enemies. I think, I think they're all gone. So you can just kind of run back through here and collect anything you missed. I don't think there's much. The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I can still get around. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Akiba! One man's blunder. ...and compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Uh. Be careful, Snake. I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. 
The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy... He didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Merrill. <sighs> Snake, hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Merrill told us, liquid should be there. I'm trying to think of what they remind me of. I want to say the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I don't I don't think that's quite it. I don't know. But anyway, uh at, time to head nope. for the surface. Well, as you um as you saw probably during the cutscene, uh, you can actually even during cutscenes take off your your camo by just shaking the controller. Um So that was uh that was, that was why he suddenly, uh, he suddenly just, like, his camo changed in mid-cutscene. So, apparently the, uh, SOP system allows people to really coordinate. I wonder if there are, uh, you know, it just seems like that's a lot of data that would be, you know, that's being sent over radio signals, it just kind of would be, I don't know, I, w I wonder how easy stuff like that would be to intercept, I don't know, I guess, I guess they use all kinds of signals on the battlefield and they kind of just have to, hmm. I don't know, I don't know anything about how that works. So, this tank here actually belongs to the Rebels. And it provides kind of an interesting dynamic to this section of the game. We have to take out these guys who are attacking the tank. I mean, those guys don't really matter. But the guys with the, uh, the guys with the, um, uh, what's it called? Um, rocket launchers. Those guys we do have to worry about. And we I just heard somebody shoot a rocket launcher, so that could be very bad. Because we don't want that tank to die. Oh! Yeah. Where is, uh... Where is that explosion coming from? Oh! Hello, wide open area where all the enemies are. Uh, I don't know what got me there. I guess they must have thrown a grenade or something. Oh, dang. Don't want that tank to blow up. So you can kind of use the tank as mobile cover if you like. Uh, it'll protect you not only from gunshots, but uh, from, from sight. So you can avoid getting caught by just kind of following the tank and staying out of sight of the, uh, the soldiers. So it's to your benefit to use this tank to get to the other side of the battlefield. But you do have to protect it from rocket launchers. Which I believe there's one up there. No. Let's see one. I thought there was a guy there. But... Oh, oh, where did that come from?
Like, you don't really have to worry about bullets hitting it. Oh, okay. I guess the tank is shooting. And that makes kind of a big explosion, so... Maybe that's what's going on? I don't really know. But, uh, looking at our map... We've got to head way over there, so... We're gonna need to get past this area. That guy was probably going to see me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, for crying out loud. I was really trying to take out that rocket launcher guy. I think they've taken out the tank now. Oh, that guy just won't die. I'm shooting sniper rifle bullets at him. Sometimes I thought I hit his head. Ah, just would not die. That man, that man has some incredible armor. I don't know. Maybe I was missing. I don't. I don't really get it. What? Oh, so there are guys coming from the back, I guess? Shouldn't be. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I guess I, I didn't really think about it, but all I needed was to get to this ladder, I guess. I'm just really hoping to get them to clean this area, but that might require me to get up here anyway. Hmm. No, I don't think I need to go over there just yet. Because I really want them to claim this area. They open up some new stuff that I, that I really want to get. But I think since the tank was destroyed, I might not be able to. I think the, uh... Oh. I think the tank has to survive. I think that's one of the conditions. There we go. Never mind. Oh. What's up with you? Don't have to twist my arm. Thanks. Yours. Oh yay. He gave us some music. Let's listen to it. Showtime from Portable Ops. So while they're doing that, there is a new area that opens up since we, uh, we claimed this area for the rebels. Pretty sure. I'm trying to think of where it is. I know you have to climb up somewhere to get it. To get to it. And one of them, you know, one of their soldiers has to climb up somewhere as well uh, to open it up for you. I don't know if they've already done that or not. You were hoping it was calling to the night? Huh? Um, I don't remember. I think that is in this game. I don't know if I have it yet. Oh. <laughs> well, that might be useful. Anti-tank missile. This first section of the game, as I've mentioned before, kind of plays more like a shooter. Uh, even though you have the ability... Ah, I think it's in here. Even though you have the ability to, uh... To, what was I going to say? To uh, to sneak through the game. It kind of has this whole squad thing going on. Ah, I think I already got everything I can get. I could be wrong. I think that was the area that opened up. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I think that's everything, though. What just happened? Did you hear an item drop just now?
Alright, let's, uh, let's go back and see if we have, yeah, Calling to the Night. But actually, now is not a great time for it. I think it. I think I should use that when it's more dramatically appropriate. So that's what you ah, oh, you did I knock that guy out? Yes, I did. I knocked that guy out by tackling him. So, wow, um, that is, that was a lot of chaos and destruction, 
and um, now I'm just really hoping that my stream will come back and that people will be able to actually see this because apparently up uh, uh, I think I think it might be working now okay so I don't I don't know what you guys are seeing or if you guys are able to see this um, I think at this point, like, there's not, I think, I think there was too much going on on the screen. And because of that, it ended up, uh, taking up too much data and just not working properly. I may have to lower the bitrate just a bit, um, on my next hour segment. Um, I think it'll be fine for a while, at least. Hopefully it'll be alright. But... So, okay, we really don't need that. Anyway, um, the, uh, for those of you who couldn't see any of that, because the, the scene, too much was going on, and I started dropping crazy amounts of frames, um, the, there were a bunch of people in crazy power suits, I, I should, like, they were, hmm, you might have to watch the video later. Like, it's just... There were a bunch of people in crazy power suits that were... That are obviously the... They're obviously the bosses of this game. And they, they just murdered all of these dudes. One after another. Not that way. Not, not this way. Why, why wouldn't I go this way? But anyway, um... So you can shake these people down, and I think some of them have some items. But I don't really want to spend the time on it. I didn't realize you could do that. Um, and yeah, they uh, they got some crazy abilities. Those people. So, uh, I'm out of noodles, actually. Oh. Those guys are enemy soldiers. And as we are in what's, I think, a little bit more of a sneaking section, I think it's time to bring back the... Uh, the Mark II pistol. Except I don't think it'll be that useful here. Um, it's kind of weird how much I'm actually using this plan. No, actually this is a bad plan now because they've turned around. Uh, hmm. I didn't really think that was going to happen. Eh, it'll work. From? The enemy? Oh, no, no, no. Apparently you can't be moving at the time. Ah, screw it. Stop. Darn it. Okay, and now I need to use a compress. Uh, and oh, hello, entire army. Uh, the cavalry has arrived. Uh, and I think I have just found a use for maybe a, st a flash grenade. Smoke grenade? So they're going to be looking right at these guys. No. Don't do that. Oh, I was looking at that one. 
Uh, but I did get him with it. Oh, they're just endless. Oh no. I, one of them got up and the other one fell down. He heard me, I guess. Okay, um, so, I guess I could just, like, listen to some music or something, but then they'll wake, they'll start waking up, so, I think, uh, I think I'm just gonna kinda try to move on. Um, I could go around picking up their weapons, that would probably be a good idea, a good idea. Get me some DP, I think I already did that, though, yeah. You gotta be careful about these things that are placed like this, because they, uh, if you kick these things, it will let people know where you are. Those guys, I don't want them catching me, so I need to come up with a way to get over there. And I could just do it. Probably like this. So that guy was on a mounted turret. If they if he had caught me, I wouldn't have lasted long. Uh oh, I made a noise. You can't interrogate people like you could in the last game. Unfortunately. Probably should have just held that guy up, it would have been a lot simpler. There's something else valuable in this room that I want. Aside from that, Playboy, that, that was not what I was talking about. I was talking about this mattress. I want to get the camo for this mattress. You can get mattress camo. And in fact, I'm going to save that. Vinyl camo. <laughs> this, is, this is mattress camo. Uh, register camo pattern. You can have, I think, up to five. I'm not really sure. Yeah, a certain number of, uh, certain number of camo patterns, and that's uh, that's one of them that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna have. All right, so they're waking, they're waking people up now. Positions. 
And I guess this is the downside to knocking people out from really far away. Is that they'll probably get seen by somebody and woken up. And you'll get like this endless chain of just people waking each other up. Everybody gets drawn to that spot too. Uh oh. Did somebody hear that? But, while they're distracted, I could go through here getting all these items. Why are the weapons you pick up from, uh, from them automatically sold? Um... They're automatically sold because I already own those weapons. I don't need uh, I don't need to hold on to more than one of a, of the same weapon. So yeah, I think this actually. Um, now I have a uh, I have a suppressor for the M4 that I just picked up from in that locker. So now I don't have to worry about making too much noise when I use the M4. <clears throat> the M4. I can use it in a sneaky way. Alright. There's that guy. I don't know if I want to knock him out because he's just kind of out in the open. But I could bait him in here, perhaps. No, I need a gun. It's the enemy. No, no. That was not how that was supposed to go. Um, I don't know why holding him up didn't work. I think if I had had auto aim on, it probably would have. I think I just—it was just that I didn't start out pointing at him. Was I just... Like, I wasn't spotted exactly, but... This is HQ. Something is causing a caution mode. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Rolling seems to be working out pretty well for me. Oh. Can you get log camo from those logs? I hadn't actually thought about that. I probably... I, I was very busy concentrating there, as you probably noticed. Um, I really wanted to sneak by those guys. Wow. He's... He looks really interested in those boxes. We need to head that way. But taking the long way around might be the best option. usually is, I would think.
<laughs> you should try so you can truly be a bump in the log. Uh, well, where is it? I don't... It's on the other side of the... It's on the other side of that, uh, that fence, right? I really don't want to go all the... go back there after having successfully sneaked away. Uh, um, um, um. What? What was that sound? Oh. Uh, he was, he was, he was looking at it. Um. I don't think that one worked. What? What was that sound? Huh? Ah! Oh, crap. Um. Plant a trap on his body. Oh, dang. I don't know if I'm being looked at right now. I think I am. Oh, hello. Hello, reinforcements. What happened? Snake? Snake! Well, that, uh, that went well. And I'm all the way back here. <sighs> Welp. I think, hmm, I really would like to get through this section. I, I forgot, I, I really need to change out my loadout. This is a terrible loadout. Um, terrible loadout for a sneaking mission. Uh, I don't actually have that s silencer anymore. Oh my goodness, I just... I just got an idea. Make this super easy on myself. And there we go. Those two are just taken care of. No problem. Yes. Oops, I made a noise, but they didn't notice.
Oh well, this did give me the opportunity to actually sneak through this area. I think I'm doing a lot better now than I was. Oh, theme of Solid Snake from Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. We haven't actually played that one on the stream. Uh, but might as well play the song. No, no, that's the wrong song. Um, Oh, I didn't hold those two up just because I didn't really want to spend the time. It's not really that big a deal. They probably wouldn't have had much. And honestly, um, hmm. I really don't expect him to come this way. Okay, there we go. But, you know, might as well, I guess, do, do that here. Yeah, he didn't really have a whole lot. Just a little bit of ammo and a compress. Besides, I'd rather them be distracted than asleep or, or knocked out. Because, well, I mean, them being asleep, I guess, doesn't matter. Uh, I don't know. I don't think anybody does anything about it if they catch somebody. Oh, that guy probably would have saw. Yeah, would have seen me. Um, I don't think they do anything about it if they see somebody uh, reading a magazine. Gonna use the same strategy. Ah, this guy's looking at me. I can't get log camo. In fact, he's coming really, really close. This is this is dangerous. Now I'm kind of worried that they're going to see him there. They're going to come to wake him up. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can get log camo. What do they call this? Wood camo. This is wood camo. <laughs> Actually looks kind of awesome. I, I actually really li I actually really like that. I think there might be something in that door. I might be able to actually walk in that door and there might be some stuff in there. I don't really want to chance it. I don't want to get up over there. But I kind of want to sneak over this way. 
and see if I can kind of scout out the area and just go in this way. This way seems a little bit better. Okay, now I'm going to switch to the solid eye, because I really need to see where people are. Um... Yeah, that's very exposed, going in that door. I don't know if I can do that. Hmm, I can't even roll across right now. What am I gonna do here? Oh, hey, Diz. How's it going? Okay, since that guy passed by, I might be able to do this. No, nope, I was wrong. You can't go in that door. However, oh no, there's nothing over here either. Wow, I just, I was just wrong about all sorts of things. What? Oh no! Darn it! After all that. Uh... I can't believe that worked. Is he there? Ah, I, it almost worked. If that worked, that would have been amazing. Very bad. Um, Where'd he go? Where's the enemy? I <laughs> can't. Ow. Oh no, I passed out. I passed out. This is bad. Uh Okay. I need food equipped right now. Uh oh, when I stood up they saw me. clearing out this area. Um, if I could plant a sleep gas pine. Oh, uh, no, that wouldn't work. Um, if I could use a smoke grenade. Uh, Right now, smoke grenade's gonna do me the most good. No one here. Hmm. 
Whoever's closest needs to be smoked. So that I can see you see them. Oh, wait, what? Why are they going around that way? I guess it works out. Oh, because there are more of them. Oh no, and there's a guy up there. And I really need a compress. Camera. Camera, please, no. Camera, I need to be able to see. Please, please, camera. This is the best camera I got. Actually, don't look that out of place here. Uh, somebody was. HQ. This is HQ. All clear. What? Understood. What's going the on? Alert has been lifted. Resume positions. Like I take off my drum can, but I, I don't. All right. Okay, there's somebody over there. Um... Ah, beeping health. <laughs> mm. I really probably shouldn't be in the, uh... connecting area there. Yeah, I could probably just make a break for it. Oh, no, I can't now. that guy and I think I can just make a dash for that door.
I knew it. Snake, you're here to kill Liquid, aren't you? That's the mission. Are you going to stop me? My mission is to inspect the PMCs. I'm not in a position to take action. All I can do is stand by and watch. I can't help you, understand? I'm a peacekeeper, here to keep order. Understood. Too long. Liquid. Rejoice! We're not copies of our father, after all. Are free of the shackles of fate. Snake. Brother.
Snake, if you won't be a prisoner to fate, then go. Fulfill your destiny. And that's the uh, that's the end of the act. Uh, because of that, um, I don't remember if it gives me a chance to save. It probably will. I hope it will. Um, in case it doesn't, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Um, actually, no. For, first, I kind of want to talk about this. Uh, notice it says number of flashbacks watched. Whenever I press the X button and I get those those flashbacks. Each one of the, each time I press the X button, it counts. I haven't I haven't been pressing it uh, as rapidly as you can to get new to get new flashbacks because I want you to be able to see what's going on behind. Um, but uh, you know I I don't think it makes that big a difference. I've watched enough of them that I've gotten a decent amount of DP from it. So essentially, Drebin uh, for Drebin gives you points money for for reminiscing, and I just think that's really interesting. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and then I'll, I'll have maybe a 10-15 minute break. Um, and then I will, uh, I will be back uh, after that, and we'll play some more Metal Gear Solid 4. So, I'll see you guys in just a little bit.